dear teachers we are celebrating bharat ratna dr radhakrishnan's birthday according to his wish as teachers day who studied philosophy by chance outwardly but it is god's divine mission we are fortunate to have him as our role model today we are st- standing face to face with the great problems of life the solutions we can find only in education duty bids us go forth active life let us willingly and faithfully perform it it is said for every obstacle we overcome every success we achieve we are closer to god and make life more as he would have it thanks to national education policy that recognized us as important members of the society let early education be a sort of amusement you will then be better able to find out the natural bent children learn more from the nature itself according to their evolving capacities childhood the most enjoyable period of human life of stories play and love here is a small story chinna katha my butterfly moral story for the child in you to derive a lesson and to tell the children who are curious to know everything a man found a cocoon of a butterfly one day a small opening appeared he sat and watched the butterfly for several hours as it struggled to squeeze its body through the tiny hole then it stopped as if it could not go further so the man decided to help the butterfly he took a pair of scissors and snipped off the remaining bits of cocoon the butterfly emerged easily but it had a swollen body and shriveled wings the man continued to watch expecting expecting that any minute the wings would enlarge and expand enough to sub- to support the body neither happened in fact the butterfly spent the rest of its life crawling around it was never able to fly what the man in his kindness and haste did not understand the restricting cocoon and the struggle re- required by the butterfly to get through the opening was a way of forcing the fluid from the body into the wings so that it would be ready for flight once that was achieved sometimes struggles are exactly what we need in our lives going through life with no obstacles would cripple us we will not be able as strong as we could have been and we would never fly even coronavirus is teaching us a lesson that we are all equal in his eyes let us take the story of my life let us listen from how helen keller the deaf helen dumb Kill. and blind girl learned about love the morning, from the miracle teacher sullivan messi of the word love from the child's voice this was before Jai i Hel. knew many words i had found a few early violets in the garden and brought them to my teacher she tried to kiss me but at that time i did not like to have anyone kiss me except my mother miss sullivan put her arm gently around me and spelled into my hand i love ellen what is love i asked she drew me closer to her and said it is here pointing to my heart whose beats i was conscious of for the first time Her words puzzled me very much because I did not then understand anything unless I touched it. I smelled the violets in her hand and asked, half in words, half in signs, a question which meant, Is love the sweetness of flowers? No, said my teacher. Again I thought the warm sun was shining on us. Is this not love? I asked. pointing in the direction from which the heat came is this not love it seemed to me that there could be nothing more beautiful than the sun whose warmth makes all things grow but miss sullivan shook her head and i was greatly puzzled and disappointed i thought it strange that my teacher could not show me love A day or two afterward I was stringing beads of different sizes in symmetrical groups two large beads three small ones and so on I had made many mistakes and Miss Sullivan had pointed them out again and again with gentle patience 
Finally, I noticed a very obvious error in the sequence and for an instant I concentrated my attention on the lesson and tried to think how I should have arranged the beats. Miss Sullivan touched my forehead and spelled with decided emphasis, think. In a flash, I knew that the word was the name of the process that was going on in my head. This was my first conscious perception of an abstract idea. For a long time, I was still. I was not thinking of the beats in my lap, but trying to find a meaning for love in the light of this new idea. The sun had been under a cloud all day and there had been brief showers. But suddenly, the sun broke forth in all its sudden splendor. Again, I asked my teacher, Is this not love? Love is something like the clouds that were in the sky before the sun came out, she replied. Then, in simpler words than these, which at that time I could not have understood, she explained, You cannot touch the clouds, you know. But you feel the rain and know how glad the flowers and the thirsty earth are to have it after a hot day. You cannot touch love either, but you feel the sweetness that is that it pours into everything. Without love, you would not be happy or want to play. The beautiful truth burst upon my mind. I felt that there were invisible lines stretched between my spirit and the spirits of others.